I'm okay. slow today too, if it's okay. <laughs> okay, I think I think we're live now. Hey everyone. Hey. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to the live. And I need to mute myself. Yep. Because duh, I forgot to mute myself. There we go. Hi, Amanda. I think Christina's still here. Um, it's lovely to see you. We are on part four, Kimmy and I, of our fabric books. And today should be wrapping it up. And next week we'll be moving on to something different. Um, not sure what that will be yet, but we'll figure it out. And um, so I'm working on my vintage uh, gypsy book. It is both gypsy and vintage. I didn't go too, too crazy with colors, but there is some colorful pages. So that was my first page and the pocket. And then last week I did this double page in the peachy pinks and avocado dyed and I made the flowers. And then this week I'm doing this page and this page and this back page is gonna be another pocket. And then I've got this image with the pretty um, turquoise colors. And I have these flowers I made and I sprayed some lace with my teal um, distress, or not distress, my Prima spray. So I have those for flowers and these for flowers that I made. And I showed how to make these flowers last week. So that's what I'm gonna be doing and up to. Hi, Grandma that's Success. Diane. That's Diane, yep. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So let me click over on Kimmy and she can share with you what she'll be doing. Hi, Deanna. Hey, Deanna. Kimmy is gluing at the moment. So one sec. Okay. Well, I can click on Michelle and come back to you. No, it's all right. I'm just let me okay. get the glue strings off my hands. Okay. So I completed my first set of four pages. And last week I had done the front and I did after the live glue this image down. So that's my back of my second set of pages. So today, Hi, Joey. today I'm going to be working on these, um, these two pages. I just glued this really pretty doily down the middle of this. That is pretty. I love that doily. Um, and this one's going to go in the center actually. I know, Deanna, it's pink, girl. Forgive me. <laughs> this one's going to go in the center <laughs> of that. And then so I'm just going to do the these, hope to get these two insides done and then just do a little bit of embellishment on this one because the image is so large. Um, there's not going to be a whole lot going on here. So I'm hoping to get this done. I'm going to work fast today because I want to get these three pages done and then my, uh, my, my Shouty Chic flip, lace flip book will be done today. We're going to do it. We're going to get it done. Hi, Go Debbie. Hi, Joey. Elegant Delights. What's your name? I forgot. I'm sorry. Hi, hi Debbie. Hi, Elegant. Yes, I'm sorry. I've forgotten to. Let me click on Michelle and she yes. can share what she's doing. And <clears throat> excuse me. Today, I'm just putting together a kind of like a pocket envelope thing made out of canvas and Great. canvas material, some lace, burlap buttons, and a lot of other little goodies. So, you got some nice you. buttons there. Thank you. What if you to pick from? <laughs> oh, it's Grace. That's right. Hi, Grace. That's going to be gorgeous, Michelle. Yes, I love, I love it. I know everyone's like, oh, look at those buttons. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Hobby Lobby girls over in the sewing section. Kay is here. Hi, Kay. Hi, Kay. Kay is the owner of White Rose Crafts, Michelle. Hi, Kay. <laughs> I'll put the link to White Rose in the chat. I recognize some of those buttons, Shell. Yes, some of them actually came through this cute little Easter egg buttons. I've got to find something to use those in. No, I mean, some of them were from me. Yeah, and the bows, the Easter egg buttons and the bows. Yep. Some of the little ones I've got here were... Hobby Lobby. I wish we had a Hobby Lobby here. We have everything here, but, you know. 
You're so lucky. Oh, I didn't mean to glue this down yet. Duh. Hey, you're lucky you're my bestie. I hook you up, right? That's right. See, look, I've already made a mistake. Duh. <laughs> Oh, wow. Joie de Vie is sitting at her desk making and decorating envelopes, you know, oh, and she cool. said it's a peaceful afternoon in England. Well, right here, Joey, in Florida today, it is absolutely miserable. It's gray and raining and cold, which is, if you live in Florida, that's like unheard of. And <laughs> I'll just let in a little secret. I'm really, really hoping to convince Kim to start a junk journal series next week. So decorating the envelopes would be a fabulous thing. That might happen. Yes, for that. We're totally it might happen. Right now. Ah, uh, Amanda, Shell, Amanda said she's going to Hobby Lobby tonight to look for buttons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those look like nice buttons. Um, I just, before we go any further, I want to just make a couple of announcements. Sure. Um, First of all, I put the link for White Rose Crafts in the chat, so please go over and check them out. And if you use the code that I'm about to put in the chat, which is KIM15, um, you will get 15% off your order um, before shipping. That is so awesome. Nice. Good deal. And I know Kay just put some new stuff in the store. You guys need to go check it out. So yeah, that. If, you're, if you're looking for that Nouveau Expanding Mousse, White Rose is a place to get it. They have, I'm just going to tell you, they have amazing, in the clearance section, they have amazing stamp sets that were $14.99 that are now $1. Yeah. Yes, they do. So they have all the new graphic 45. They even have lace yes. in the store now, ladies. They have yes. lace. You can literally get everything you're looking for there, seriously. Yeah, you really can. And the other thing that I want to mention is that both Kimmy and I both have kits for sale. Um, I have one of my lace kits left, my shabby chic lace kits left, and I have my um, applique kit left, and they're $25 a piece. I have a video on my channel for this. Um, that I put up last night. So you just have to go back one video. There's only one of these left. And then the applique kit, which you'll see in the video as well. And um, Kimmy has some shabby chic kits, which are a super bargain as well as shabby chic spring kits. And you can find those in your store, in your Facebook group, right, Kimmy? Yes. Okay. Grace said it's 1.30 in Australia and she's doing inventory. Oh, goodness. And Deanna says, yes, please do a junk journal. She wants to make learn how to make one. Okay, okay, we'll oh. do it. Kay says they have more lace on the way, too, not to mention charms, chipboard and bellies, and more. Awesome. Charms, awesome. Charms are good for junk oh, journals, too. Like more these. lace? I'm excited. More lace? I know, right? <laughs> and, like, they've got the Distress Oxide sprays, guys, which are super yeah. amazing. They're everything. They Make sure you check out the new section and the clearance section for sure. Yeah, the new products, new arrivals, I think it is. Yes, new arrivals. Yeah, that's it. And they have a sketch challenge in their Facebook group every month, which is really fun. Yes, Amanda, you should, Amanda, you should really check that out. Look for the White Rose, um, what's it called, Kim? White Rose Gallery. Yeah, White Rose Gallery on Face, White Rose Crafts Gallery on Facebook. Look for that, Amanda, because you're like a stellar card maker, and they do a sketch challenge, and that is like right up your alley. Okay, so I'm going to get back to gluing now. And ladies, okay. obviously, like what we always do, if you guys are having any challenges on your channel. Um, if there's anything that you want to share with everybody, please type it in the chat. That would be awesome. Um, I think a lot of the challenges are over at this point. I know Diane's just finished hers. Um, I'm trying to think who else has a challenge going right now. Oh, there's tons of them out there right now. Yeah. There really is tons please of them out there right now. Everybody that's in the chat, because we like to support each other. Absolutely. So if you guys want to do um, a, a junk journal series with us, um, gather up your materials this coming week. Um, 
I can probably post in my group and then maybe in Kimmy's group too um, what you would need. Um, but there's lots of videos on YouTube about yeah. junk journals and what you need. But we're going to be making, like, I think what we're going to do is just get our bases together and then show how we attach the base to the cover and then make all the things that go inside it, like the envelopes and the tags and things like that. I think that's probably the best way to do it. So I think that's kind of the route we'll go because I, I yeah, yeah, you know. Also, if you want to craft along with us, if we start that series next week, um, you may want to go and like coffee dye some or tea dye some paper, some doilies, um, you know, even some if you want to do some laces, if you want to tea dye some late, little bits of laces and things, um, you can do that ahead of time, too. Yep. And I've got on my channel here as well on Angel Dream Crafts, I've got tons of lace dyeing videos. Another... Yeah. YouTuber that has really good lace dyeing videos is Roseanne, who is Roxy Car 11. Um, she has a lot of good lace dyeing tutorials with her sprays and coffee dyeing and all kinds of stuff. Um, hi, Jean. We are good. I'm sorry you have to clean your house. That stinks. Hi, Jean. <laughs> oh, you like this place, Deanna? I got yeah. this from China, girl. <laughs> <laughs> China. Amanda just requested to join the gallery. Kay just approved you, Amanda. That's awesome. And she's oh, checking the store. Yay. I'm kind of debating what I want to do with this. I'm thinking I'm going to cut that out. I love this image because I love the, the teal color in her hat. I do too. And then her dress. Why does my YouTube keep? I don't know. It's like weird. It, it keeps um, stopping and starting and stopping and starting. Mine was doing that last week when, when we were live on my channel, Kim. Hmm. Is anybody crafting with us today? Let us know what you're making. Oh, also, you guys, White Rose is having a hop right now. Kim, do you want to tell them about that? Yeah, we are having a hop, and uh, the link to my blog is in the description box. Um, and if you go over to my blog, you'll find all the links for the hop. And there, um, the designers have made some really amazing things. And um, you can also win something from White Rose Crafts if you follow along the hop. So... Which is totally awesome. And if you like kits, they have a, a monthly card kit at White Rose Ladies. Yes, they do. Oh, Jean just finished a junk journal. Awesome, Jean. It is a lot of fun, right? I love just collecting all the bits for them. Yeah. I love coffee dyed paper. I love the crinkly sound it makes. Yeah, like parchment paper. Yeah. Yeah. And there's ways I've seen ways I've seen videos where you can do it without baking the papers um, afterwards. And I've seen really a lot of different ways to do the coffee dyeing where you bake them to dry them and somewhere you don't. Okay, you should definitely do that, Kim. She said she should she should create a shabby chic section of the store. Yeah. That would be amazing. That would be. And they also have lots of chipboard now, too, which is just awesome. I'm always on the lookout for some chipboard. Ooh, Gracie, yeah. I would love to see a picture yeah. of the shabby sheet kite. Wow. Oh, wow. That would be gorgeous. Yeah. Awesome. That sounds awesome. Okay. Well, you could stop cleaning, Jean, and just craft. You know, the cleaning will still be there, but the crafting won't, right? <laughs> I second that. I second that emotion. <laughs> I heard. Yes. I'm terrible. I know. It's unanimous. <laughs> I'm terrible. Always fun to look for an excuse to be crafting instead of being an adult, right? right? Nobody wants to be an adult. That's not fun. 
no fun at all. <laughs> okay. Actually, what I told my husband today, I said, today I'm not being a doll. I'll be in the craft room all day. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. Good for you, Jean. Adulting yeah. is overrated, Kay said. Yes, Could it is. Very. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. So, Kay, I have a question for you. <laughs> uh oh. Let's put Kay on the spot. Um, what's <laughs> your favorite kind of crafting as a craft store owner? I like Good, que Good question, Kimmy. I would be curious to know that because she has everything in her store. And for me, I don't know if I could have a craft store because I'd be like, want to play with all of it. Uh, yeah. That's got to be the best perk of having one. I mean, I had a flower shop, but, you know, flowers are fresh, so I couldn't ah, do much yeah. with that. But, you know, the other stuff that I would get in for making things, like wreaths and things, that was like, yeah, I'll make a wreath today. I'll do this. I'll do that. So that was kind of fun. I worked for a florist for a while. Loved it. I would love that, too, because I'm such a roses girl. Well, you know, roses are um, difficult because uh, they do not come out of a box looking pretty. You have to strip them and you get poked. Oh, and, you sure yeah. do. You sure do. It's worth it, though. Yeah. We'd have a busy spell after we'd have a calm spell. I'd look over and I'd say, okay, I'm going into the refrigerator for a while. And I would just walk around and smell all the flowers. <laughs> okay, so Kay says, paper, paper, paper. I was a paper perv before I ever started crafting with it. But I do love all kinds of embellishments. I've never been much of a stamper, but I've started, LOL. A paper perv. I love that, Kay. Yeah. <laughs> I can see. Paper crafting is, my, is like my home base too. That's what I, paper, I started with stamping and scrapbooking and um, I, I'm just a paper crafter. That's like my, my home base. Love it. So many pretty papers out there. That's my biggest thing. Yes. Yeah. There is. You won for a project. Like, yeah. I got the best deal the other day. I came across a local artist who's moving and had to sell her entire studio. So oh. sad. Wow. And, um, I got one of those, you know, the iron, um, the black, like the paper racks that stands up that you can put all your pads in. Oh, yeah. I snagged one of those for five bucks the other day. Oh, wow. Well, that was a better deal than I got on the one I got a few years ago. So it's got all my paper pads so nicely. It's so nice and pretty to look at. It makes me happy just seeing it in there all nice and organized. Hi, River. And she asks, what happened to the roses? They don't smell. You can get some roses that do still have a scent. And basically the scent now has been so over hybridized. I think they've butchered it right out of the roses but there are roses that do have some smell but those are generally the kind that are grown on a farm or um you know in your own garden basically but i noticed years ago the purple roses that you can get that are that are naturally not dark purple but like a lavender those have a beautiful smell to them those are my um, favorite ones too, the lavender ones. They're like, they're like a silver lavender color. They're beautiful. Yes. Um, I did a lot of weddings with those and um, they were very popular for a long time, but now they've started dying roses. So yeah. when I was doing weddings, the blue dyed roses were very popular for weddings and I wouldn't do them because the dye leaks out of the stems. Everybody wanted a hand tied bouquet so the stems were exposed at the bottom and I right. wouldn't do them because I had read in so many and heard from other florists that it dyed the bride's dress before the, she walked down the aisle. So I refused oh, yeah. to do the blue ones because you don't need that. That would be you horrible. Don't need to ride mad at you just before she oh, walks okay. down the oh, aisle. Gosh. Can you imagine you pay all that money for a bouquet and then it ends up staining your dress? Oh no! Yeah, oh, I won't do it. I didn't do it, but uh, they are That's beautiful. Really the blue. That's a really good I tip. I need to make sure I tell Casey that. They're great for arrangements. You know, for centerpieces, um, I mean, but not for. Hi, River. Hi, Zoe. 
Hi, I, Angie. What's addicted to nails? What's addicted to nails names? I forgot. <clears throat> uh, Angie. Forgive us if we forget y'all's names, lady. We're we're ladies. We're super tired this morning. Not gonna yes, lie. Yes, Diamond Roses. Um, they are, that is gilding the lily a bit, but they do because they want those really dark colors. Like some people want, like a dark purple or the darker blue. You know, you can't really get a blue rose, so I think that's how right. that started. But you can get yellow and orange and red and pink and things like that. So. Dale, that's it. I'm sorry, Dale. Yes. Thanks for coming to the ladies. We appreciate you. Yeah. We do. My goodness, there's a hair stuck in my lace. And now it's glued down. I love that when that happens. Is it your hair or cat hair? <laughs> it's mine, I think, which I don't understand because my hair is in a ponytail. <laughs> so nobody's crafting today with us? I bet Kay's busy with orders. I bet too. I wish I could place another one. I want to try. I'm dying to try that moose. Yeah, it looks good. Um, one of the DT members, EK, I think she did a video on it. Yes, yeah, she did. Which moose is that? It's the Nouveau Expanding Moose. Oh, yeah. I've actually seen uh, Rita Bearcat use it. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It's really cool. It is pretty cool. So I'm just adding a little bit of purple here for, you know, just a bit of contrast. But uh, anyway, I'm going to click over on you, Kimmy, and you can show what you've been up to because they're watching me glue stuff down long enough. Okay. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Well, I'm glad you came by, Kay. Yes, and thank you, Diane. That's okay. You, Diane has to run. I appreciate that. Hey, Tony. Hi, Tony. I won't tell, oh, Tony. I promise. Yeah, we won't tell. Okay, so here's what I've gotten so far. Here's the inside <clears throat> of this one. <clears throat> sorry, this one page. I started with this doily. Then I added the pink one in the middle. And I put my little lady. And um, this is a handmade flower that I did previously that I just didn't, it didn't work for a project that I had. So I had it like put in the bin and I just really liked it and wanted to use it on this book. And then I don't know if you can see up here, I did, this is like triple. So I have this white lace. Hi, then, Jeanette. Then over top of that is this pink trim. And then over top of that is the sequin trim. That's so I've, got, I've got like a triple threat going on there at the top. So I'm still finishing. I have, you know, some space here that I want to um, put some more embellishments on. But that's where I'm at on this page so far. <clears throat> so pretty. Thank you. So oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, thanks, Tony. Now let me click on Miss Michelle. Okay. Basically, all I'm thrilled. You sound thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> I really haven't done anything groundbreaking yet, but <laughs> I've got all my uh, components together and pieces that I'm going to be working on. That was funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah, right now I'm just doing some uh, stitching to make messy stitching actually to add some character to this piece of printed canvas that I have that I'm using. Okay. Explain what that is, what you just said. <laughs> the, uh, what I'm working on is a, like, a, it's going to be like a, uh, almost like a, a pocket kind of thing. And yeah. it could be filled with ephemera, you know, pictures or, you know, right. or it'd be a nice little, you know, trade or a gift or something. Yeah. 
But what I'm doing is just basically I've got some printed canvas that I'm working on that's going to be laying on the front. And I'm doing ugly stitching, as I call it, because I can't sew a straight line to save my life. So doing some messy, you know, kind of stitching around the edges of the canvas so it gives it some character. Ugly stitching is the best, though, because it looks makes it look like antique. That's yeah. what I'm hoping for. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I said I'm still learning this whole sewing thing, but I'm determined to learn. You have a sewing machine, right? Yes, I do. I just don't know how to use it. <laughs> okay, so that's... Oh, see, see, I'm not the only one. Woo! You, Kimmy, Shannon, and Michelle now have to do a, a Hangout, Google Hangout sewing class with me one day then. Okay. Do it all at once with everybody. I'm down for that. that. Yeah, my husband found me a really nice one. My mom used it. She loved it. She said it was a really good one, and yeah. I have no clue. <laughs> Yeah, we'll start off with learning how to thread the machine, first of all. Yes, that, that would be helpful. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what intimidates me the most is the bobbin and the thread. Yes, ditto. Oh, me too. No. Me that too. Me so too. easy, you guys. Oh, my goodness, you're funny. So easy. My niece, that is exactly she how I feel. Use it. She's 13, and I started laughing. I said, well, good for you. <laughs> So I was always afraid of smashing my fingers with the needles. I said, you don't put your fingers under there. Yeah, don't put your fingers in there. That's not what you do. <laughs> I don't know that much about it, but. I figured hand sewing was a good place to start. See, oh, hi, Olivia. Olivia, and says, Olivia says the bobbin in, um, intimidates her too. Oh, and Anna got a sewing machine for Mother's Day a few years ago and still hasn't used it. Okay, okay. maybe, maybe you should do a live. Then. Maybe you should do a live, Kim. Well, I should do the live, but <laughs> you guys will be on the panel with your sewing machines. <laughs> I don't really need everyone to see me, you know, screwing up my sewing machine. No, no, no. That's how everybody learns at the same time. So. <laughs> oh, goodness. You guys are hilarious. It's that is the easiest thing to do That's when you're awesome. threading your machine. It's just up, down, up. It's like a up and down thing, like this up, down, up, down in the needle. Like you start with the thread, go in, go down, go up, go down, go in the needle. If you say so, Kimmy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the best of luck. You guys are hilarious. Glad you think so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Check up a golf bag. All things that found a sewing machine and come home with it. He's like, oh, I figured you're into the crafting. You could use it. Yeah, and that's then awesome. one day we'll move you guys up to Sergers. <laughs> what is that? Hi, Tammy. You know when? Uh, hi, Tammy. You know when? Um, like on a hem, it's got that super stitching on it like it's like loops and a line yeah you know, at the top of a hem like it's yeah. the stitching you see on the inside of clothing okay that's what a serger does it finishes okay. the edges so they don't fray but that it's that so fun? much more than that as well it's just much much more than that wow okay <laughs> Joyce said, I can sew a button and fix a hole sometimes. Well, that's that's something. I'm that's with me, Joyce. I understand that concept real well. Yeah, that's me too. <laughs> Jean said, I gave a class in slow stitching. It's very addictive. Now, Jean, I want to ask you this que question because you gave a, a class in slow stitching. And I don't mean this disrespectfully, but slow stitching is just like hand stitching in and out. And I don't understand why it's called slow stitching. Is there like a different method to it? Because to me, it's just sewing in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. Yeah, you can use a serger, Jeanette. That's a girl. I like to hand sew too. And I like to embroider. My grandma taught me how to embroider. I have no idea how to do anything like that. Yep. <laughs> My lovely grandma taught me. 
My mom would love for me to pick up the quilting genetic, but. Right. I took a class on quilting and learned how to applique, but that was a long time ago. My mama went from her mama. And I mean, my mom, I'm not just bragging because she's my mom. She makes the old fashioned kind of quilts. <laughs> I saw that, Joyce, but I knew what you meant. Wow, she used to make party tents. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> that had to take some patience. Right? Yeah, so it is just hand stitching. So, okay, why is it called slow stitching? Just, I don't get it. <laughs> Which way is up with this lace? My goodness, I'm flipping it back and forth and back and forth. Okay. No, this way is up. So I want to be on this side of it, I think. Or do I? Okay, I'm losing my mind here, people. Kay said she loves hand sewing and embroidering. Let's do it this way. <coughs> and she said her daughter's- A lot out there I'd love to learn. She said her daughter's tapestry work is awesome. Oh, Gorgeous. amazing to do. Okay, you should get some of her tapestry work and do like a boho book or something. That'd be awesome. Tammy's making a joke. How funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to put a pin in my book without sticking my finger. Yeah, free art shops are the best, Jean. We have a place here called, Spring, called Sewing Studio, and you can bring your machine and they'll teach you, but the classes are super expensive. Yeah, Wait, sewing classes can be expensive. It's crazy, right? And the machine That's I have is... Setting. The machine I have is one of those computerized ones. And like my mom can sew, but she doesn't know how to work the computerized machines like that. So mine's just, I think, a basic singer, but it's nice. It's a newer one. I think I do have my grandma's singer somewhere too, but I know the one that's sitting in my craft room is one of those brother computerized ones. Oh, those are nice. My it's sewing machine is like 30 years old. It is a Bernina. It's an old workhorse and I love it. Definitely leftovers for journal covers are definitely awesome. Yep. There we go. Okay. I finally figured out which way the lace was on correctly. That's a struggle sometimes, man. I, I find that like sometimes it's hard to figure out. It really is. <laughs> It and shouldn't I, be that hard. I turned it this way, this way, this way, then that way. And I'm like, oh, please, something's wrong. I need more coffee. For yeah. real. I haven't had any coffee, so I feel that. What? 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 I know. You need coffee, girl. Drink some coffee. That'll get rid of that headache, too. Yeah. Yes, I do need some coffee. The four-day migraine really is getting old. Gotta say. That's why coffee is like a miracle cure for migraines. I'm telling you, it will go if you get the coffee. Yep. Coffee actually has the same effect on migraine that and I don't condone the other smoking. Yeah. Oh no, no smoking. Don't do I that. Coffee. Don't condone coffee. that. No. I was actually told once when I was younger and I suffered from migraines that smoking would you know, when I had a migraine, wouldn't be a bad idea. And I'm thinking, okay, that's habit for me. What doctor told you that for crying out loud? Oh, my goodness. I know. I was like, I think I was 17 or 18. Good and gracious. That's, yeah, no. And it was just a hormonal imbalance. Guess what? The birth control pill fixed them. Yeah, that's minus hormones. And um, 
it's just it's the barometric pressure when it's going to rain, which uh, it's been doing for the last four days off and on, and the pressure's been yeah. horrible. So it, it's that too. So I have the lucky double whammy of the hormones and the rain going on right now. Oh, it the is caffeine just, would help uh, shrink those yes blood vessels that are causing it. Absolutely. Yep. yep. It is just, um, it's just been horrible the last few days here. It's been That's why it was here last week. We would go from, I think Monday we had 60 degree weather last week. And then by Wednesday it was 20 degrees. And like the tourists come and they expect to get off the plane and it to be bright and sunny and 80 degrees. And it's like, it's not always that way. <laughs> no, not always. <laughs> not always the way it works. I would kill for 80 degree weather. I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, you're in the wrong place, Missy. I know, I do, but I like my country. I like your country too. Yeah, let's not get into that debate online. <laughs> Hi, Davida. <laughs> How are you, Davida? Yeah. I saw that you were you took a little you had a little break on YouTube, Davida. I saw that you were live last night. Hi, Davida. Um, yes, Jean. That is right. We do have some cool things here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we have more. We have another. We have another Canuck in the house. Yeah, and Kay loves my country too. Yeah, Canada rocks. I'm just saying. Yes, you don't want to get Kim started on that because you, you'll hear. No, I am like I bleed maple syrup, people. <laughs> Kim, did you see the picture I sent you? No. I, what was it? Okay, ladies, I don't know if y'all have an Aldi near you. Um, my husband and I went to Aldi oh, last the night. Jaffa cakes, yes. No, no, no. First of all, we found Jaffa cakes, which are amazing. Jaffa they're cakes like, are my most favorite things in the world, and I can't like get little. Little, They're like these little sponge cake circles. They're like a cookie, but it's a little circle of sponge with this orange, like marmalade stuff, and then chocolate on top. They're amazing. And they had them at Aldi. They had orange and raspberry, different ones. But the picture I sent you, Kimmy, to poke fun was Brian pointed it out. My husband pointed it out and said, You need to take a picture of this and send it to Kim. It was maple bacon coffee. Oh, no. Well, I'm not sure I would go for the maple bacon coffee, <laughs> but I do enjoy my ma maple bacon potato chips. I was like, maple bacon coffee? And they also had bourbon coffee. And I'm like, oh. No, I don't want, I don't want that. I want my but coffee yeah, maple to taste bacon like, is good. Yeah, I want my coffee to taste like coffee. Yeah. You know, I can definitely move up here, Kay. Kay, you're welcome to move here anytime. I'm moving there. I'm moving across the street, remember? Hey, you know, I I live in the middle of a forest. That they Which carved awesome. out and plunked the town in. Which is awesome. <laughs> and you guys can come up anytime. The subdivision that I live in is called the Ranch Lands. And we literally have people that ride horses in our neighborhood. Oh, nice. So, like, there's been times when I've looked out my kitchen window and there's been a person riding down the street on a horse, which I think is super awesome. So, I love, love our little neighborhood like that. And we have a lot of mature trees. A lot of places in Florida just are like zero lot line properties. And you can right. literally see in your neighbor's window and there's no trees on the land at all. So um, we live in a neighborhood that's been developed for, you know, it was built in the 80s. So we, I have lots of big trees in my yard and everything. So I, I kind of love that about it. That's cool. Yeah, I like it. Sounds like it's beautiful there. All right. Well, I'm going to click on your phone in a minute, Kimmy. Yes. I hope to see you here, Shell. I plan on it this year. We're going to next year. I already told Del those plans get laid aside. <laughs> see, look at all this. Tammy wants me to adopt everyone so they can move here. And Davida's grandmother was born in Nova Scotia. So look at all the Canuckness in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Like did, you see what, did you see what Davida wrote? She said um, her grandmother was born in Nova Scotia. Yeah, I just said that. Oh, I didn't. In your, 
Sorry. It's okay, Kimmy. It's all right. Thank you, Kay, for stopping by. Yes, Kay. It was lovely to see you. She has to go work. Yes, and use my discount code, guys. If you do go over there, you can get 15% off. Can't complain about that. No way. I'm clicked on you, by the way, Kimmy. Oh, okay. So let me show where I'm at then. I just put this cute little, I don't know if you can see it, it's so subtle. This little white trim, two rows of that going along the side there. Pretty, I love that image. And then I, this is my little pin. <clears throat> it's got like a fleur de lis inside. Nice. So I popped that there. And then um, I put another, um, it says Madame, Madame, right above the pin. And then I've got um, a couple of little more images here that I put. And, oh, I on this flower center, I just glued this piece of bling that hangs down. It was actually an earring. So it hangs down in the middle of my flower. I think that's super cute. Debbie's dad is Canadian. Yes. <laughs> There's another one. See? So I'm thinking I'm going to call this page done. So now I'm flipping over to do this one. And I'm going to start <clears throat> this one. And then the only thing I have left to finish my book is doing a little bit of embellishment on the back here on this big image. Yeah, I'm nearly done mine, too. Like, my, I'm uh, moving along here pretty quick. Strangely, I don't know why, because the last couple of weeks, I've been, like, moving at a turtle's pace. <laughs> it's all coming together. Yeah. Well, pocket pages are kind of easy to do as well, so... That's what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to paint a pocket page on my last page here. And I just, uh, during the week, guys, I made another fabric book for somebody. Really? I can't it's show it. It is yeah. gorgeous. I can't show it, so. I'll just let them know it is gorgeous. I want them to be surprised. Majorly gorgeous. But maybe this time I'll film it before I pack it up. That would be a good thing. Because I just did a big swap with somebody and I didn't film any of it. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of a dork that way. <sighs> um, I don't hear feedback. Does anybody else hear feedback? No. I'm not getting Bye, any. Bye, That's nice, Tammy. A journal for a friend. Surprise, surprise. Tammy sure. said it needs some blue because blue is her color. <laughs> yes, I know. Tammy's not a pink girl, I know. That's it, Tammy. You love the blue like me, girl. I don't not like blue. I just like pink more. See... Blue has such a huge range of tones, more than pink. I'm just a girly girl, I love pink. I mean, there's baby pink, there's blush pink, there's pink pink, and there's hot pink. So there's only four. But with blue, you got teals and, you know, I light blue, sky girl. blue, aqua. Aqua? Aqua, aqua, aqua. I if you move to Canada, pasta. you better get used to saying aqua and pasta instead of however you guys, you guys say it. Pasta? Pasta. And contrary to popular belief, I do not say a boot. No, she doesn't. I can honestly say I've never heard that before. Most Canadians don't say a boot. Oot in a boot. I can Oot say it boot. like that. Oot in a boot. Oot in a boot. I have, however, been known to put the word a on the end of a sentence. Yes, she has. You know that, eh? <laughs> I do, eh? Jean loves purple. Deanna wants some black in your book, Kimmy. <laughs> I 
I like purple too. Oh, Amanda, that's so cute. All this pink shades reminds her of steel magnolias. I yeah. Love Blush and bashful. Blush and bashful for Shelby's win. Yep. Tammy says pass. Um, Amanda oh. loves purple as well, which I knew. Tammy's making yeah, a purple. Yeah, I have an American friend who says pasta. Pasta. Do I say pasta? What do you say, Kim? Noodles. And I'm the Italian one of the all of us, and I say noodles. We what kind of noodles, noodles do you want? And some marinara sauce. Yeah, like what kind of noodles do you want? That's what I say. But it's pasta. Pasta. I will say though that I do have a really, really great recipe for five hour sauce that's amazing. That was my Italian grandma Rose's recipe, and it's really good. Okay, I need a little something to be a pocket. Are you oh you're still clicked on me, aren't you? I am because all I'm doing is cutting out those flowers off this lace. That's all I'm doing. That's not Michelle, because I have to go dig for some stuff. <laughs> Nope. Yes, Tammy. The ones from Massachusetts say car for car. See, I'm gonna go pack the car. Yeah, my uh, my uh, aunt had come down when I was a baby. You know, brought her kids, and she was married to my mom's brother. And dad thought she was telling him to go and pack the cow. Hard <laughs> <laughs> yard. Yeah. And he stood there and said, "The what?" She said, "The car." Like, I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah. He said the automobile. <laughs> I watched a video the other day on YouTube and, you know, no disrespect to people in the South, but this uh, guy, his Southern accent was so heavy. I actually had to put the subtitles on, on the YouTube video. Oh, I could not understand him. I've well, actually been around people like that down there. <laughs> When I first when I first moved here, I was in um, I was thirteen and I was in middle school, right? And um, I, in eighth grade, my history teacher was like extremely southern, had an extremely southern accent, and right. um, you know I started I came from New York and I was saying you guys, which nobody says, you know, you guys. I was saying you guys. No, I don't say you guys. I was saying you guys. <laughs> It was, hey, you guys, right? So mm -hmm. I, I kid you not, this woman, this, this Southern teacher, she was taking role. And for the first three weeks, I didn't recognize when she was saying my name. Oh, gosh. And my, my maiden name, I was 13. So it, it's Kim Larson. Not very difficult, right? Kim Larson. Right. So for the first three weeks, I kept hearing Kim Larson, Kim, Kim Larson. And I did not understand that she was calling my name. Is there a Kim Larsan? Finally, finally, the dude that was behind me tapped me on the shoulder and goes, she's calling your name. And I'm like, huh? For three <laughs> weeks, for three weeks, I did not know that she was calling my name because her accent was so, so extremely thick Southern. Oh like, how, how can you not understand Kim Larson? But it was Kim Larsan. I'm like... <laughs> Oh my lord! It is it is very like sing songy the southern accent. It is for sure. Um. Anyway, Kim, can you click on Michelle, please? Because I have to go dig for stuff. Yeah, you go dig, girl. Thank you. There you go, Michelle. I'm on you. How's it going with your with your project there? I'm getting it. Jean, I'd be hoarding that stuff too. Bring it up a little bit so y'all can see it. Oh, that's so pretty. I love the colors. Okay. Now, will you be able, is that a pocket on the front? Yeah. There's a pocket right oh, here. Gorgeous. Nice. That can fit in, you know, some ephemera and things like that. I'll, I'll show. Oh, and can we just talk about that ring you're wearing? OMG. This one? Yeah, that's cool. Just a brown agate, actually. 
I love agate. I do too. One of my favorite rings. Hey, Kimmy, I don't know if she can hear me. Where was your teacher from? Which state do you know? I don't know. I, I, would, hazard, I would hazard to say like Tennessee. <laughs> I think she's from Tennessee. I don't know, some of those right around the Georgia border at Florida's got it really strong. Ha, Tammy said, this is funny. I met a guy on Yahoo chat years ago and he was from Scotland and he spoke so rogue. I could listen to him talk forever. I used to ask him stupid questions just to hear him. <laughs> <laughs> we we all can relate to that because we all watch Outlander and we love the Scottish accent and we now understand it a lot better from watching Outlander too. Well, actually, I have a story about being in Scotland and speaking to someone and not understanding anything they're saying. But we were up in the Highlands and this lovely gentleman and my friend that I was with is British. She lived there her whole life. And uh, so we got out of the car and this lovely gentleman came up to us and we were visiting a store, a little shop that his wife owned. And he came out and he started talking to us and he was laughing and we were laughing and my friend was talking away to him and I'm just kind of standing there smiling and giggling. And then he shook our hands and he was so lovely and then he left and I turned to my friend and I said, I did not understand one thing he just said. And my friend said, neither did I. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so she had a whole conversation with him. Oh, yes, isn't it? Yeah, lovely day and all this kind of stuff. She had no idea. But his oh. accent was so thick. I couldn't even, I was trying really hard to catch like one word and I couldn't catch it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Worse than Outlander, huh? I love, oh, up in the Highlands, people's accents are way thick. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. They've got the, uh, the strongest Gaelic, don't they? Yep. Yeah. Very, very heavy brogue. Yeah. And uh, but I love it. I love it. I love Scotland. I love the Scottish people. I love Tennessee, too. I'm not making fun of Tennessee. I have been there many times, and I love it. It is beautiful. I've been to Knoxville many times. I've never been. It it's looks beautiful. I would love to. Beautiful. It is beautiful. I went cow tipping in Tennessee. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never done you that. Do that. You just come here. We'll find some. <laughs> That's like, that was like back in the college days. <laughs> uh, yep. I've done that a few times. I hear Kentucky is especially beautiful too. Has anybody been to Kentucky? I don't think I have been to Kentucky. I've been there several times, been through Kentucky and it's, yeah. <laughs> I've been to Dollywood too, Tammy. Dollywood is cute. I've been to Graceland. I've been to all those places, but it was fun. Pigeon Forge. Oh my God. Pigeon Forge. You're right, Amanda. Pigeon Forge is gorgeous. Gatlinburg. Love all of that. Kentucky's okay Amanda. until you get to the mountain areas, and then it's beautiful. You pass a lot of, a lot of flatlands with a lot of grass and a lot of horses in Kentucky. But like the nice. Parkway, yeah, uh, I love that. I love horses. Okay. A lot of Southern people in the house. A lot of Canucks and a lot of Southerners. There you go. <laughs> now, if I had my driver, I'd live in the South. I'm kind of both, though. I mean, I was born in New York. You know, I'm a New Yorker at heart. I'm a Yankee at heart, but. Oh, I Utah. Live. Yeah, I bet Utah's gorgeous. And you know what else looks beautiful is Montana. But I'm a little bit of a redneck. Well, I you always can be a redneck girl. I, I'm a little bit of a redneck girl. I'm kind of both. I mean, my my New Yorkness is gone at this point, but I love the mountains and the cold weather and snow and all that stuff, but. I'm a redneck by transplant, basically. <laughs> I didn't have any choice. I was 13. I did not want to move here. Trust me. Oh, you're proud to be a Southerner. Good for you, Amanda. That's right. You should be proud of where you're from. Absolutely. You should always be proud of where you're from. I'm not proud of Florida because, like, it seems like all the bad stuff happens here. 
don't know. No, I don't think it does. Like, you know, we watch this show. You guys tell me, like, I forget who it was. Somebody likes to watch the crime shows. I forget who it was. But my husband and I are addicted to the show called Live PD. And they, um, one of the, the, it's where the cameras follow the police officers around. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And there's a, there's a really hot dude on there called sticks that I have a major crush on. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh my God, you're hilarious. he's a silver Fox, like my husband. And he's like, you know, he's a tough cop, man. He's got tattoos and, but he's, he's, um, Kim, he's Irish, but anyway, nice. Um, so they, one of the, the counties that they follow is in North Florida. It's like mm -hmm. the handle and it's way out in the boonies. So it totally makes Floridians look like redneck dummies, which we're uh -huh. not, which we're not. And it's like, well, I'm not where... for anything that makes anybody look dumb that I just, don't oh, like. Amanda enemy within is a great show. I love it. It's the girl from Dexter. I don't remember what her name is. I think it's Karen Carpenter. No, but she's amazing. And that show, I love it. I was telling my husband about it, but we watch live PD and some of the, um, the police officers are in South Carolina and there's like real thick, heavy Southern accents going on there. So we get a kick out of that. It cracks us up. And some of the stuff that people do, it's hilarious on that show. It cracks us up. Sounds like a show my father-in-law would have loved. Yeah, Southern people are nice. Uh, the furthest south I've been is Missouri, and uh, which is not that far south. No. And uh, everybody there, like they have an accent in Missouri too. Um, but everybody there was so lovely and so kind and welcoming. And, you know, all the people I met... So is anybody in the house part of Live PD Nation? Because that's my husband's favorite show. Every Friday and Saturday night. Three hours of that every Friday and Saturday night. <laughs> Have you started reading them, Tammy? Oh, you were reading the time travel books. Not really. I, yes, that's right. You did. Yeah, it was a show, girl. I'm glad that we could hook you up with that last week. <laughs> Didn't realize Outlander was a show. Yes, you must binge watch it, girl. Oh, yeah. Amanda are, you Amanda, are you talking about live PD? You're talking about the guy, Tom? And it's the guy who hosted is Dan Abrams, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he hosts it. Me too, Tammy. We don't have cable anymore. We just watch whatever. We have a laptop hooked up to our TV. And uh, we just watch whatever you can get on the internet. We got rid of our cable. Because everything that's on TV, you can get on the internet. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, Amanda. And me within, yeah. Yes, I love, um, we like, we watch The Rookie also because, of course, I love Nathan Fillion from Castle. And <laughs> oh, I love Nathan Fillion, too. He's on The Rookie right now, and it's a really good show. We really like that show, too. I loved Castle. I was disappointed when Me it ended. Me, too. I'll have to tell my mom she loved that show. I love that no. show. Hey, did you know Nathan Fillion? He's a bit of a player, man. He's dated a lot of those chicks, including Stan Akatic, who was Castle on oh, Castle. Oh, yeah. yeah, they they were together in real life for a short time. Yeah. Wow. She's he got series. Stan Akatic has a, a series on. Um, I want to say Amazon <sighs> Prime. It's called Absentia, and it's like oh, yeah. really dark and so not like her. But it was um it was very um. It was very engaging. I mean, it was a, you get sucked in. It's like a thriller type of thing. It was good. We watch a lot of TV in our house at night. That's our thing. And there's a show you would laugh at. It's called, um, I can't think of what, the kids are all right. And it's um, an Irish Catholic family full of boys. And it's hilarious. Oh, yeah. It's hilarious. 
Oh yeah, I want to watch the soap opera Passions on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get a fire stick too. My husband keeps talking about getting a fire stick. It's a good investment. Yeah. We love ours. Yeah. We have a Roku TV so we can get, and you know, we have Netflix and we have Amazon prime, but we also, we also have cable. So. Uh Oh, we have stopped Jean from cleaning. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've uh, enticed her to the dark side. <laughs> we have. Mission accomplished. Sorry, Jean. Mission accomplished. Sorry, Jean. <laughs> it's funner over here. Right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I don't have Hulu, and there's some shows I really want to watch on Hulu. I watched Handmaiden's Tale. Um... And that was amaze balls. Um, I'm trying to think what else. And I was shocked because my kids told me when I was watching Handmaid's Tale, my kids are like, Mom, we read that book in high school. And I'm like, What? That is like so not appropriate. And they read it in high school. It's like, dang. Yeah, it's Margaret Atwood. Yeah, I was like, maybe an author. I mean, the show is like like extremely graphic and stuff. And violent, way violent. It was a great. It was well, a great. I mean, we used to think, you know, Catcher in the Rye, and I read that in high school, and you know that's been banned in so many places now because of its link to some shootings of very famous people. Now my niece was telling me that a while back. Amanda or Angie Hulu is another app like Amazon Prime or Netflix where you can stream um, shows and they have their own just like Netflix has original series and Amazon Prime has original series so does Hulu. I need did I put some? Tammy I'll be calling you to ask how to do that when we get our fire stick girl. But shh, don't tell anyone. We actually found ours our marketplace. Somebody was selling theirs. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm keeping right. a really good price. Yeah, I'm keeping my eyes peeled for one of those for sure. Yeah, we love it. Having everything, you know, right there, and then instead of changing over between sep separate things all the time. Right now, Kim and I are are hot and heavy into Project Runway. Yep. Which. I love Project Runway because I, I sew and uh, I just find it to be very creative, like design wise. I've been inspired in my crafting even to, you know, from Project Runway. I could see that. And we love, yeah. like, we both love Christian Siriano and he's the mentor on the new season. Like we're, we were watching All Stars, but we're also watching the new season just started. But I love Tim Sexy. Gunn and I miss Tim Gunn. I'm just saying. Yeah, make it work. <laughs> I have a Tim Gunn issue that I, I just love me some Tim Gunn. Well, um, the new season is on tomorrow night. It's on Wednesday nights at nine. And um, it just started last week. So if you haven't, I mean, you could totally watch and you wouldn't really miss a whole lot. I still lot haven't seen the first episode yet. So don't give me any spoilers. I'm not. It, it was good. That's the only spoiler I'm going to give you. That's good. good. I don't want any. No spoilers. All Stars is good, though. And, of course, Kim is enthralled with the guy from Canada. Shocker. Yep. Bedell. <laughs> Project Runway All Stars this season was all winners from International and um, America who had won previously won Project Runway in their country or in America. And uh, there was two Canadian guys, but the one Canadian guy, Sonny, he got kicked out early because he didn't follow the challenge, which was very sad to me because it would have been easy for him to fix it and he chose not to and he got it up. So now all my hopes are in Bedell because he's the Canadian Project Runway winner. And he's in the final four now. I'm just saying. He is good. He is. Good. 
Yeah, Deanna said no. From a creator from Project Runway. Now, Tammy, how did you get that? Wait, what? She has a t shirt from a creator on Project Runway. Hmm. Well, that's cool. That's very cool. I feel like my pages are missing something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I think they're gorgeous. I can't quite do it. Yeah, you know, everybody's kind of like that with um, cable, Amanda. You know, people are afraid to get rid of their cable, but there's so many other options out there now that is so much cheaper. Yeah. And you're paying a lot of money for just TV when there's other ways to get it. I mean, I do not miss cable at all. If you I have a smart TV and you can hook a laptop up to it, you can watch anything. I would miss cable and so would my husband because there's some shows that we... You can get them all online, dude, or Amazon Prime or Netflix. They're all out there. It may yeah, go. Tim Gunn, Deanna, I agree with you. There is no one else but Tim Gunn. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Jeffrey, Tammy. She's talking about um, Kim, the, the punk guy with the black hair that made kids clothes. Right, yeah. I'm pretty think sure his name was Jeffrey. Or was it Seth? No, I think she means Jeffrey, yeah. But yeah, he was cool. I know who you're That's talking cool, about. That's cool, Tammy, that you have something of, from one of the creators. That's awesome. Yeah, amazing. I wouldn't wear that shirt. I'd hold on to that. Okay, I'm just going to click on me for a minute because I think I'm done. And then I'm going to just share... A couple things while you yeah. guys still keep working don't rush don't rush um so here's my let me get it in shot um two pages in my book um i've picked up on the teal colors here and i wanted to, her to be surrounded by flowers so i've used some of my hand dyed flowers and then i also cut these ones out these white ones um from some lace and then these two are little um crocheted flowers that I've had in my stash for ages and they're just the perfect minty green color so I added some rhinestones to the center of them and then I added the tiny little clay flowers to the center of these which I know they're small but they look pretty love those and then I had made this flower and this flower previously so I added those and then I added a bow and then I've got my pocket here with more flowers and then I added a rose applique here with a bunch of the little um, teal aqua aqua however you want to say it clay flowers <laughs> and then I've got lots of dangles so that is pretty much it I think what I want to do though is maybe add some trim down the side of my book here but I don't want to cover up this beautiful um, vintage doily that I have on my book on the front. I just want that to be like the star. So that's that's pretty much my book, I think. Deanna um, said perfect. Amanda says gorgeous. So that's the cover. Absolutely Inside. gorgeous. It really is. Tons of dangle dangles. Tammy wants to know what happened to Tim Gunn. Tim Gunn and Heidi are going to be doing a new fashion type show on Amazon Prime, I read. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a huge jump. So, yep, that's what's happening there. Okay, so while I have a captive audience. <laughs> Deb Vignola says, beautiful, Kim. Thank you, guys. Um, this is my um, kit that I'm selling, and I have one left, like I said, and I just want to go over it with you guys. And you also get 
a bunch of little goodies on the inside as well. You get three of these little appliques. You get four of these little very pretty pink ribbon roses. And you get a big selection of pearls that are from vintage jewelry. You get um, pretty. You get these, which are um, silk thread beads. They're super pretty, and you get two sizes. And then you get vintage pearls, which are glass in an ivory and a dusty pink. So that's that. And then doilies, you get this one, this one, two of these. Um, you get eight of these. You get four of these and two of these. That's the doilies. Uh, except for, <laughs> you get four, everything is just upside down here. You get four of these beautiful square doilies. They're super pretty. I love these. So you get four of those. Okay. You get a piece of Battenberg lace. You get a piece of this very old, um, this is an underskirt from a wedding dress from the 1930s. And it has this, I mean, I don't even know how they did it. It feels like fabric paint, but I know it's not because it's from the 30s, but it's like textured. Like, I don't know what they did to put that on there. It's kind of amazing, but there's a big piece of that. It's a beautiful, delicate, um, piece of uh, lace. It's absolutely gorgeous. You get some of this um, knotted trim here, which is, um, it's all knotted. I can't even explain it. I don't know what the technique is, um, but it's all knotted and to make these big squares, it's super pretty. It would, it's really nice to cover a page with that. I've done that. You get about a yard of vintage eyelet. You get about a yard of the littler eyelet. There is half a yard-ish of this trim. Wow. There is a yard of this trim, which is the double um, tool. It's a double layer tool lace. Um, you get a piece of this, which is from some vintage clothing, and it's really soft, um, a beautiful ecru color cotton. You've got the swirls and the flowers in it as well for you to cut up and use. You get two of the roses that I just used in my book. Yeah, they're like threaded knots, Jeanette. Yeah. You get this gorgeous 10 inch applique piece. Oops, you get about a half a yard of this beautiful wedding trim with the sequins. And you get five of these flowers with the pearl and the sequins. You get a piece of this trim and there's 15 flowers on here and then the little trim at the bottom. So there's 15 of those flowers you can cut out. Two of these flowers. Um, a good size piece of this gorgeous dangle trim that I also used in my gypsy book. One of these dimensional flowers, which is absolutely stunning and it's a really good size. You get six of these which I love this dangle trim. It's so pretty. So you get six of those and these have the, um, the nice silk top stitching on them. And you also get a good size piece of this 10 inch dangle trim, which is absolutely gorgeous. You get the piece at the top and then you got the 10 inch dangles. So that is my, oh, pardon me, it's not done. You also get a flower. One of these, and these are made out of t-shirt material, so you can dye these. They're super cool. 
And then I will also include a fabric image of some kind. This is um, this one sold with the Paris in it, but I can reprint that if you specifically want that image. No big deal. Um, so that's the kit, and it's twenty-five dollars. There's one left of those. So if anybody wants it in the chat, say so now, um, and I will mark it sold. And I have um, another kit. This is also twenty-five dollars, and. Those are not in it. Tammy said it. it was Seth that she was talking about, not Jeffrey. Yeah, Seth Aaron, yeah. In this kit, you get eight of these pieces, four of the square doilies. Not that, not that, not that, not that. I had mixed those together. Okay, this is the applique kit. So you get these pieces, the square doilies, you get this applique, this gorgeous beaded applique. There's five pieces here of this vintage clothing in the ecru color. That's all this beautiful lace. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. So there's five good sized pieces here. Um, there's this gorgeous collar piece. This rose applique. This rose applique. This rose applique. Gosh, it's gorgeous. This um, collar piece. And this rose applique, which I used last week in my gypsy book. You guys saw me cut this one up. And it's beautifully embroidered with the top stitching. This piece with all these flowers to cut, absolutely stunning and beautiful. And then this giant um, collar piece, it's huge. It has all this trim on the bottom. It's really a beautiful um, off-white crocheted and it's got the netting in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that is my applique kit. And that's only one of those. And that's $25 as well. So if anybody wants these two, they're $25 and $25 plus shipping. So let me know in the chat if you want them. If not, go and comment on the video I have on my channel. Um, Kimmy, do you want to share your kits if you have them handy? Um, I can if you want me to. Yeah. I have to grab one. Give me one second. Don't yeah, click on it yet. I'm not Don't in any rush. Oh. Yeah, don't click on me yet. Click on Michelle for a minute and let her show what she's up to on her okay. project. Because I have a um, floor full of crap. Oh, Michelle, that's gorgeous. I think I lost you guys. No, I hear you. You're here, you're here. Michelle. Did we lose her? Lost you guys. Yeah, I still hear and see her, but she can't hear and see us for some reason. She's frozen on the stream. No, that's just her thing that she finished, her project she finished. Her tag. Oh, no, her camera's off. Okay, so let me click over on you, Kimmy, while Michelle sorts out her technical difficulties. Give me one. Um, I'm going to show my pocket page. Just give me one sec. Yeah, I'm going to show where I'm at with the book because I'm just about done. Okay. Yeah, Michelle's gone. She'll be back, guys. Yeah. I'm just gluing a couple little rose leaves in here really quick.
Okay. Okay, so I showed y'all, this was my first page. <clears throat> and then this is the page that I made on the back side that's going to be my pocket page. Mm -hmm. I used this fabric as the pocket. Um, there's some, it's a handmade flower. It's a little piece of trim. I've got some dangles down there. I've got two layers of dangles. I've got this one and then these little tassels that are hanging down. And then I put the little sequin trim on the bottom of my pocket, then my handmade flower. Then you can see that pink trim going across the top of my pocket. And I just put a couple of little fabric printed tags in there. And then this oh, is like that's so pretty. This is like a, an upholstery fabric sample in the pink that I put down and then oh, I wow. glued rose with the leaves. And then um, across the top is this little pink tassel. So oh, I love that tassel page. trim. So the only thing I have left to do to finish my book is stuff her and embellish around her and then I'm completely done. Nice. I will have done so my... Pretty. Show the cover my... again, Kimmy. Um, the cover of my book, hang on, the first set of four pages I did is, <clears throat> here's the front, mm -hmm. and then we have this one on the inside, this one on the inside, and then here's the back. This was the first oh, set of four that I've done, and then the next set of four is no, yeah, it's this one's the front. Everybody's saying beautiful, Kimmy. Then the two ones that I worked on today, the pocket page, and then this one. And then this is going to be the back. So I'm just going to put this one inside of this one and then tie it up together so you can see it's kind of fat. And that's going to be my lace flip book there. Right. Once I... Finish that one last page and then tie it together. And that literally is my only second lace book I've ever made. <laughs> Michelle, awesome. has the first, yeah, Michelle has the first one. Um, okay, so I will show you my kit. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, this is my spring shabby kit, is what I'm calling this. And it's for sale in my. Facebook group, which is Kim's Vintage Rose and Crafty Friends. There's special pricing. Um, it's $20, but if you're a member of my group, you get a discount. So um, it's a different price in my group. That's something I offer just for my group members. Let's see. Okay, so you get, this is vintage bridal lace. This is from an 80s gunny sack vintage gown. You can see how beautiful this is gorgeous mm -hmm. and it's a very big piece of that you get this pink chiffon fabric which is gorge yes i'm sorry for those of you that don't like pink the theme of this it's like a tricolor it's it's pink white and mint um you get this fabric image printed And you can see it picks up on the pink and the mint. You get two yards of this fringe. You also get a ruffle from the wedding dress like this. And this is a pretty decent, it's probably like a half yard piece. It's this ruffle nice. from the vintage wedding dress. You get a yard of tulle in case you want to make flowers. You get two yards each of this mint ribbon and this pink ribbon. You get a yard of this pink pleated trim. You get seven doilies and it is two that are these diamond shape. And <laughs> Tammy said, mint chocolate chip ice cream, yum. It is <laughs> two of the doilies. Oh, here, Michelle. Welcome back. Hi, hi. Two, two of the round doilies and three of these little square ones. You get two pieces of bridal beaded applique. Like, see the pearls on that one? That's one. And this is the other one. 
you get a piece of bling, something like this. Nice. And then there's these two little cute bags that come with it. And what is mm -hmm. in bags is, let me see. And you know, if you purchase from me, I always send a, a free gift with purchase as well. Um, let, me see. let me see. So inside this bag is you get a yard of this tricolor eyelash trim. See how it's pink, white, and mint. So that goes with the theme. You get five of these little adorable pink applique corners. And then um, you're going to get some, I don't know if you can see them on my desk, pink, white, and mint buttons. And then in this little bag, you also get, if I can get it open. You get a pink tassel. You get a yo-yo. And you get a resin. Oh, pretty angel. So this is absolutely enough stuff to make, um, like you could make an altered embroidery hoop. You could make a wall hanging, um, plus, you know, extra for flowers, um, you know, embellishing on different projects and stuff. So like I said, um, it is, Miss Tony, are you, are you saying you want one of Kim's kits or one of mine? You have to specify in the chat, please. So Probably like said, yours because Tony bought one of mine, so I'm guessing it's yours. Okay, so this is um, $20 plus shipping unless you're a member of my group. And if you're a member of my Facebook group, you get a discount. And I will ship international. And in my Facebook page or my Facebook group, I also have some cigar boxes for sale. Um, I have some vintage linens for sale and I have some fibers for sale. So um, if you're getting the link to your group now, thank you. So if you're interested in doing um, a junk journal series with us, um, I will also be um, selling some junk journal kits and those will include papers and envelopes and fibers um, as well. But those will be for sale when we start our junk journal kits. Um, but I do have the fibers listed individually in my Facebook uh, group right now. Thanks for stopping by. So this is my shabby um, chic spring kit. And like I said, I have a whole bunch of other things. Um, if anybody wants a cigar box, they are $4. Um, and I have their, they have wooden bottoms. Um, I can show you what one looks like. They're really nice, you guys. I saw them yesterday. Onyx decided he wanted to join me in the studio real quick because there's a bunch of stuff all over my floor. So of course he wants to get into it. Um, where did I put it? Oh, okay. I have two different Let me look quick over to, to Miss Michelle. Um, Miss Pony, if you want to email me. Um, I will put my email address in the chat and I can send you photos of what I'm selling if you're interested. Um, but you need to let me know if it's my kit that you want. Okay. Yeah, so it would be because she bought one of mine. So it'll be your kit. Okay. Well, maybe she can put her email address or something in the chat so I can email her. Um, this is one of the cigar boxes. It's like a square shape. Love the squares. Instead of um, you know, opening where you have to slide it, it just opens like this. And you can see it even has these things that kept the tubes in inside of it and like a divider piece and some paper. And it, it's you can see there's um it's wood on the bottom. Okay, so this is um this is four dollars. This is a square one, and then this is more you can see it's a little bit smaller, but it's deeper. This is the other one, and this is also four dollars, and it also has wooden bottom. So four dollars plus shipping. I have two of this kind and one of those listed in my um, group right now. So yeah, it is. is <laughs> she said you guessed correctly. So can you put your email in the chat for Tony, Kimmy? Yes. 
Um, and then she can email you her, um, her PayPal and all that information. And while you're doing that, I will click on Miss Michelle. Welcome back, Michelle. Yay. <laughs> Don't know what happened. That's <laughs> what happens when you live in the country, I suppose. I was thinking it was going to happen to me today because of all the storms here. Yeah, it happened to me. I figured this thing out. So I got my envelope finished. I guess that's what you call it—a cloth envelope, a canvas envelope. Right there. It's beautiful. But it's got a nice, you know, pocketed area where you can actually tuck in all kinds of ephemera and goodies. Kind of got that vintage look. I love the vintage look. You know, that's my jam. I love it. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. Won't be long till you do a book now, Michelle. That's right. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> You can do it. Tell her, lady. She can do it. I got a great cover started. I just want to get everything else in order. So Now, have you made a junk journal before, Michelle? Michelle, uh, has, the, Michelle has the first lace book I ever made. Michelle has it. I sent it oh, to her. It's so gorgeous. And it's purple. Uh, I uh, actually have not done a junk journal. So. Oh, so maybe this would be a good opportunity to do one then. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I'd love to do a junk journal. I really would. Oh, okay, okay cool. Cool. we're gonna. I think we're gonna start that series next week if it's okay with Kim. That sounds good. Yeah, I think we might start that next week. Yeah, because I'm excited. I'm into it big time. We've been decorating a lot of envelopes and doing a lot of things. Um, I mean, it's so much fun and using all your little bits and stuff. It's yeah. just fun. That, that that's always intrigued me about junk journals. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're, I, we've been Kim and I and Shannon have been having a lot of fun doing that kind of stuff. Um, Kimmy, uh, Tony also put her email in the chat for you as well. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Diane said, yay. Awesome. So if you guys are excited about that, start Absolutely. getting together, start getting together your stuff. And, um, I will tell you, like I said, I'm going to be putting together junk journal kits. So if that's something that you are all into, I have everything set aside for it. I just have to put them together and place them. Yeah. But, and we uh, will put a list of what we're going to be yes. working with in our respective Facebook groups that, yes. we, that I just posted in the chat. Um, we will put a list together in the next day or two and we'll put them in our groups and then you guys will know what to um what to get but there, if you're not on facebook and you want to join in just check around on youtube basically you're going to need something for a cover um some paper for the inside and then some tags but we can make tags from scratch you don't even need to buy tags um some index cards or anything that you want to do stuff to make pockets mm -hmm. basically it's like a lace book but with paper. So I, I can tell you the, the kits that I'm putting together are going to have like kind of specialty things like map paper, sewing pattern paper, um, cork. Um, they're going to have like um, a bunch of fibers. They're going to have charms. Um, you're going to want things like envelopes of all different shapes and sizes. Like I'm going to have some vellum envelopes in my kit, some tags in my kit, yeah. Um, you're going to want paper dyed stuff. You're going to want paper doilies, um, anything. It could be junk mail. It could be little postcards, um, just all kinds of little yeah, paper ephemera. Things. Ephemera is what and you're, you're Right. Ephemera. And you're going to want something, um, some kind of string or thread that you can bind it with. And you're going to need something to put a hole um, in the paper. Yeah. But we will show you how to do that and how to bind your journal next week. So gather up your supplies and uh, um, watch some videos on YouTube and yes. uh, just type in how to make a junk journal and or supplies for a junk journal or something. If you're unsure, music paper is a great thing. Or paper, even just your paper. your paper pad, book paper, your printer yeah. paper. Anything yep. that you can stamp on, you know, any kind of paper is fine. So um, envelopes are a great thing. Yes. Old envelopes that you've got near recycle that you get your bills in. You can coffee yep. dye those. So, you know, anything 
works in a junk journal. And that's the really cool thing about it. So that's what we're going to be working on. Your, get out your distress stuff, you know, like your vintage photo and tea dye ink pads and sprays and things like that too. Yeah. Oh, that's okay, Tony. No worries, hon. Sorry. Sometimes there is a delay. But I want to thank you all for joining us for this series of us doing the lace book. And, um, yeah, I think we're going to start on a junk journal next. And I think we may um, do this for a little while and then maybe just go back to changing it up week by week. But we definitely want to do the junk journal. Um, and there's a few other projects we want to do, but... You know, we're all still learning as we go along as well. So it's it's nice to be able to craft with you guys and learn ourselves. That's, you know, kind of what it's all about, really. Yep. Well, I've never made a junk journal, so this will be my first one, too. I have made some, um, but, uh, you know, I can always improve. <laughs> you can always learn and improve. That's oh, yes, bags, to too, if you have little bags, that would be good, too. Yeah, little paper bags or something. Kind of yes. like the ones we did on Timmy's channel, which I don't yes. have them handy here, um, that we altered and the envelopes that we altered on Kimmy's channel the other day when we were live on her channel. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys didn't see that, go and check out her channel. Um, and please subscribe to Michelle's channel as well. Her link is in the description box below along with Kimmy. So please go over and sub. Um, and you can see how talented my friends are. Well, you're getting more content on there, right? I'm getting there. I've had a really busy schedule with my parents' car band down, but it's by the end of this week, everything will be okay. So I'll be back okay. with more videos and stuff. I'll be home more. So <laughs> that's good. And my fabric book is for sale, by the way. If you're interested, you can email me. Um, or just contact me on YouTube here or on Facebook. You guys know how to get a hold of me. It is for sale if anyone's interested. And that's it for this series. And thank you all for coming. And thank you, Kimmy. And thank you, Michelle, for being here and being awesome and so talented and amazing. Thanks, ladies. Thanks for coming and supporting us. We appreciate you. And we will be back next Tuesday at 11 a.m. Thank you all for coming. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Take care, everybody.